So now we're going to show you how we set up our pipe views. First we hook up our recirc pump and then we set it down actually right into the bin. Once we have it in the bin, we fill the bin approximately halfway with water. A little under or a little over is not going to make much of a difference. We screw in our injection rig and use the compression plug, snug it down, and set it up to inject. Next thing we do is work on our return side. So our return fitting, we screw the hose in, we set in our injection, our injection plug, that's going to take the water back out of the pipe. We hook it back up to another hose, the secondary hose in the kit, and bring it back to the tank. So now we've created one big loop. So it starts sending the water in where we have our pressure gauge, comes all the way through the pipe, comes back out of the pipe, goes through the return rig, which has a valve, to the hose, and then back to the bin. So we have one cycle going around. So what we're showing you here is the pipe is not leaking right now. It's set at about 11 pounds, and now we're going to create the leak. So we drilled with a 1 8 inch hole, and now you can actually see the pressure drop. That's because the leak is happening. Once we see the pressure drop, then we're going to set that water going, recirculating again. You can see the valves open, and we pour in part A. Now, part A is going to take a while, but it consists of some solids and a polymer to actually go in, block the leak, and actually seal the leak. It takes a while. The longer you could run it, the better off you're going to be. You could always gauge the amount of water loss in the bucket to see whether it's dropping. If it is, it still needs some more time. You could always do, do a repressure test by shutting both valves if you want after you run part A just to confirm that your leak is, is stopped. And once it does come to a stop, what we're going to do is pour in our part B. Part B is going to go in and it's going to harden part A. So with the pump still running, it's still on right now, we have it recirculating, and B just sealed part A, and now our leak is fixed.